What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I want to talk about black marble and specifically show you my favorite way to get a ton of black marble. And in the process, you're going to end up with a lot of iron bars and copper scrap, which is exactly what we're going to need to continue to do this. Now, you probably already know that petrified bones can be harvested for black marble. And there's a decent way to go about doing this that would be separating the ribs from the ground and it all falls down to the ground. However, this is a pretty long process and pretty loud, which means you are going to have interruptions if you've left any of the enemies around the area. But it's not a bad way to come across about 150 to 200 black marble depending on how particular you are about harvesting all the bones. My favorite way is going to fill your chest with black marble, iron bar, and copper scrap. And it's going to take a lot less time to do this over the course of building your black marble structures. And you really don't need to bring a whole lot with you. All you need is enough stuff to build a workbench, a furnace, and a portal so that you can teleport your black metal back to your base. Now, if you run across some iron once you get out to the Mistlands, go ahead and harvest that up. You'll need two metal scrap to smelt down into the iron bars. If you don't end up finding any iron, that's fine. We will get it from what we're doing already in the iron bar form it just takes a little bit longer that way now what we're looking for are the different black marble structures that are in the mistlands my favorite happened to be the bridges because nobody defends them or cares about them so you can harvest these up very easily you can however break down the diverger towers as well as breaking down the dungeon entrances for the infested mines now, once you find one of these buildings, it's time to set your first piece of equipment that we're actually going to craft out here, and that happens to be the stone cutter. And you'll be able to place that once you smelt down your first two iron scrap into iron bars. Now, if you didn't end up finding some iron scrap on the way to smelt down into iron bars, you can get it from these structures. You're just going to need to take your pick and go after the bottom section of this structure. Now, you can actually mine this entire structure with just your pick. It's just going to take a long time to do it. And personally, I'd rather not spend the time mining it when I could just break it down a much easier way. Now, the stone cutter is going to allow you to just dismantle the black marble. So it's a much quicker process than harvesting it with a pick. However, these bridges actually have infrastructure inside that are made up of the iron bars. In order to break those, you could use your pick, but... Instead of that, you're actually going to gain scrap copper that are around the bands of the black marble. You can get six of those copper scrap and turn them into bars and make the forge so that you can just break the metal bars that are in the middle. So after a little bit of smelting, all you have to do is place this forge and that's going to allow you to start breaking the infrastructure that's inside and that will then cause this structure to collapse over time. Once it starts to deteriorate, your job is just going to be to run around and pick up the loot as it falls out of the sky periodically. You can, however, coax it along a little bit, but you will find that most of these bridges are going to be too tall for you to place your workbenches on the ground and reach the highest height. So at some point, you'll just want to stop and wait for the rest to come down. Now, this same process can be used to destroy the diverger structures. However, if you're going to put that much effort into killing the divergers that are in there, I usually go about fixing it up and making it my own home since those guys don't respawn in there. So at least one of those in that area, I just fix up and make that my portal room or my outpost base. And depending on how much black marble you need for your main base, you could then run around that entire mistlands with your stone cutter and your forge and just knock down all of those different structures and bring them back to your portal outpost where you can then teleport them to your main structure. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen, click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.